Fora TV. The world is thinking. Can you can you describe uh, government efforts to close down your sites or close you down? <laughs> yeah, uh, not all of them. You know, whenever you see surveillance, what you're seeing is always the tip of the iceberg, <clears throat> because it's when people have screwed up and you notice it. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've had uh, an ambush in a Luxembourg car park uh, by what appears to be British intelligence, could be, could be private intelligence uh, hired um, by uh, a big bank, we're not sure. Um, yeah, so, well, I don't go into all the details because there's, there's a long litany of these things, but, um, yeah, uh, you know, someone followed uh, one of my co-authors to the car park uh, and then um, waited for him to come out uh, at his car and then started asking questions about WikiLeaks and asking questions about me and saying it's in your interest to come and have a coffee with me, a gentleman about six foot four, good suit, uh, 40 years old, confident, good watch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who, who uh, yeah, yeah, well, and and yes, uh, we leaked earlier this year a report by US Army uh, counterintelligence, uh, 32 pages on us um, and methods that could be used to destabilize us, attacking what they said was our center of gravity, which is the trust that sources have in us uh, by doing public prosecutions of US military whistleblowers. And they use the word whistleblower as opposed to people who are leaking secrets for no reason at all. Um, and um, a list a number of other things, but those reports are, are, you know, there's a lot of money slushing around in, in intelligence and counterintelligence and people with not much to do, so maybe it's one of them. Um, none of our sources, uh, to our knowledge, have ever been exposed, certainly none have ever been publicly exposed, um, so that seems like it was a failure, um, which is good. Um, we've had other surveillance um, in Iceland, uh, that's just people in cafes um, surveilling with uh, hidden cameras that when approach ran off. Um, there are some s State Department records about people going on an aeroplane. It could be coincidence, or if it's in coincidence, it's about one in 400 uh, chance. Um, we had a serious attack by the Chinese government um, when we released a whole lot of uh, photos of people being murdered in Tibet. Um, but we have structured our sort of engineering uh, in Sweden uh, and the sort of ISPs are in front of them and the ISPs are in front of them. So the, the path that comes into our communications is set up to deal with these sort of attacks, but it took us down for a couple of hours. Um, there's, we have another two um, US government reports about surveillance on us but uh, that we haven't yet released, but they're minor uh, compared to the 32-page one. So, um, I mean, it's, it's there. Uh, I also understand that the Open Source Center, uh, which is the CIA, used to be the FBIS, Foreign Bro Broadcasting Information Service, it's sort of like the CIA's media, media monitoring unit, which pals up with the BBC, um, has 77 reports on uh, the video we just released. <laughs> 